So team keep it clean before we get into this uh, latest update from the NFL. Just wanted to give a special shout out to everybody uh, up there in Baltimore, man. We know um, a lot of people from up that way. Uh, they watch the channel, of course, this being a primarily Baltimore Ravens channel. Uh, and I know a lot of people uh, were impacted this morning uh, in one way, shape, form or another uh, from the the collapse of the, the bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge. Uh, whether you've ever traveled across it before or somewhere where some of y'all may even go like on a daily. Uh, so I know that's a really scary thing to think about and you feel bad for anybody um, connected to the people who were there when everything happened early this morning. So it, it, it sucks, man. It's crazy and it, it's, it's, it's really scary too. Um, just when you think about something that people use on a daily uh, and how it's now it's just destroyed so you feel for everybody involved and i know they said as of now when i'm recording this um i think the latest update they said that there were a couple of people that were found um i think they said two of them one of them uh was in not critical condition but one of them went to the hospital one of them refused uh medical treatment uh, and then I think they found maybe one or two more, and then they, but there was still a, a handful of people missing. And they said that they assumed that it was construction workers that had been working on it, but I'm not 100% sure. So hopefully everybody uh, will be found in good condition, hopefully. Um, and we'll see, man. But it, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man, because you, you, you just never know. That's why I, um, I really, and we're going to get to the news in a little bit, but I, I thought it was important to, uh, to, to, to mention this first. That um, every single day, uh, every single day, um, no matter what you do, no matter how old you are, um, you, whether you hop on the internet, you look on TV, whatever, people are trying to sell you stuff. And what I mean when I say that, I don't mean like necessarily you buying stuff, but they are trying to, whether they're trying to sell you a reason why you should even take the time to spend with them. And what I mean when I say that, like like even for, for, us, for us, for example, um, when you watch this channel... Uh, I hope that uh, you will find some sort of uh, benefit in it because it is an investment of your time. Um, it's, it's a big investment of your time. Usually we uh, make maybe one or two videos every day. Maybe they could be from anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. And your time is important. So if me, as the person who's making the videos, I want to make sure that it's worth your while and worth your time, whatever time you spend with us. So your, your, your time is extremely important. And, and I just wanted to give you all a reminder that I really appreciate you all and any time that you have taken to watch any one, any single one of our videos. So I appreciate that a lot. Now, I will, because um, we're going to get into this, uh, this signing by the Pittsburgh Steelers now, uh, but I'll make sure that I'll put timestamps um just so if you just came here for the steeler signing i i get it and hey all the other stuff you didn't want to hear about but we hadn't got a chance to address that earlier today and we thought that was very important that we did so i love y'all i appreciate y'all uh, and let's get into this news uh, from the pittsburgh steelers and this is a uh this is a really really good move for them in my opinion it is actually um my favorite move that they made uh, this entire offseason because still has been busy um they signed russell wilson they traded for justin fields uh they signed patrick queen they traded deontay uh thompson away they they cut patrick peterson um they, they've been making a lot of different moves and there's some other stuff that they did as well but this move right here i guess Steelers they were, they've been paying attention because they were like man with uh the kickoff rule the new kickoff rule they said you know what Let's get on that quick. Let's get one of the best re kick return, one of the best returners in the game. You know, this was actually a move that I was hoping my Baltimore Ravens would make, because Cordero Patterson is somebody that has been killing it in the return game for a long time. And the Baltimore Ravens, they don't really have their guy at the return position. They have guys that they could leave there, like you got Tylen Wallace at. You could have him at punt return. You got Justice Hill at kick return and then of course after the free agency and after the draft and stuff undrafted rookie free agents after a lot of guys get cut you're gonna have more options too but i, I feel like they don't have that guy there yet now who knows because one of the guys that they have or somebody that they could get could be that guy but i feel like they don't have that guy yet so i would have loved that the baltimore ravens would have signed cordero patterson but we'll be seeing him at least two times 
a year because the Pittsburgh Steelers signed Cordell Patterson to a two-year deal uh, worth, I believe it was worth $6 million. Um, so, and it says that uh, he reunites with his coach, Arthur Smith, who was over in Atlanta. Uh, so that'll be nice for him. That'll uh, allow him to have that familiarity uh, with their offense. And, of course, special teams, that'll be his thing. But it'll be nice to see uh, him in Pittsburgh. Because, again, it's always nice when the teams around you, the teams in your division, when they get better because that just forces your team to get better too. Uh, and I know the Baltimore Ravens been pretty quiet, um, but – and the Steelers, they just been making move after 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 move. And the thing with them is that the Steelers have been a very, they've been like this annoying team. Because it's like they, it's like when you look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Even over the past couple of years, you think, oh, they, that's not a good team. They ain't nothing. But I think in the last, what, eight games, they they are 7-1 and one versus the Ravens, I believe. In the, I believe in the last eight games. It's, it's something crazy like that. It's, it's some weird stat, man. But um, but then when you look at the Ravens, you'll think, like, oh, they're a much better team than the Steelers. But for some reason, again, it's a lot of context. But bottom line is the Ravens, they've been losing against the Steelers for a while. But um, when you look at the Steelers, it's like they, they're such a frustrating team because you look at them and you think, oh, man, they're they, they not even that good. But... They keep, they don't go under 500. They don't go that much higher above it, but they are above it. So Mike Tomlin, he forever has that on his resume that he ain't ever had no losing record. He, been, he came close and he had his, his eight and eights and whatnot and nine and sevens. And that's one game. Up, but hey, he never had the losing record. So he can hold on to that uh, forever for now because that's what it is. But anyway, um. But you see the, the the slight changes that they made, and in my opinion, the biggest one um, being at the quarterback position. Uh, and as I know I said this was my this was my favorite signing of theirs, Cordero Patterson. But um, Russell Wilson is probably their most important signing this off season because Kenny Pickett, obviously. Well, oh yeah, that's another move that they made. They traded Kenny Pickett to the Eagles. Um, but Kenny Pickett obviously wasn't it for them. He wasn't it. Um, so Steelers definitely upgraded the QB position. I know a lot of people want to say, oh, Russell Wilson is washed. Oh, he ain't got it no more. And he ain't the same Russell Wilson of old. But in my opinion, in order for him to have success with the Pittsburgh Steelers, he doesn't have to be. In my opinion, in order for him to have success with the Steelers, he just doesn't have to be Kenny Pickett. And... I don't think that's going to be hard for him to do. Oh, yeah, they cut Allen Robinson, too. Forgot about that. That's another one. So, Steelers, been, they've been moving. And I know they I know they just signed a receiver, too. I forgot who it was. Oh, I can't think of who it is. But anyway. Oh, and, and by the way, real quick side story. And this was this was funny. Um, a couple of weeks. The week of February 25th through March 3rd, uh, me and my family, we went on a cruise. And... This cruise, it was a Royal Caribbean cruise. We went on the, the ship Wonder of the Seas. Great ship, huge ship. I think it's the second largest ship for Royal Caribbean because the, the newest largest ship is Icon. Those are super expensive. But anyway, so we, when, the day that we were getting on the ship, we walking on there, and I look and I see a Steelers jersey. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Then I look and see another Steelers jersey, and I'm like, okay, whatever, coincidence. Then I look and see another one, and 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 another. They're literally Steelers jerseys everywhere, and I'm like, "What is going on? Why are there so many Steelers fans on this cruise?" And it was the craziest thing. So then, first day passed. So the second day, I'm like, "Okay, maybe it's a family or something. They just all Steelers fans. They all came together." Second day, Steelers jersey here. Steelers shirt there, Steelers pants there, Steelers blanket there, Steelers this, Steelers that, Steelers, everywhere. Then I'm looking on all, all these uh these these rooms that we pass and they got Steelers posters on the wall and stuff. All these Steelers fans. And so the whole week, I see so many Steelers fans. So I had to ask somebody like, what what is going on? Why is there so many Steelers fans here? And they said that it was a um a Steelers Legends cruise. Um, so I did. Uh, Rod Woodson was there. I, I got to meet Rod Woodson. I met him. Um. In, in the elevator And he was super super nice Super chill Super laid back And it's crazy Because the same way That you see him on TV 
and the same like vibe that he portrays on TV. That that's exactly how he was uh, in person too. Um, and they said the the punter, oh, I forget his name, the punter who just got cut from this, well, recently got cut from the Steelers. He was on there. Their running back uh, Warren. He was on there. Um, Cam Hayward's brother, who I didn't even know that he had a brother that played for the Steelers. He was on there. Um, they, and there were, there were some other people, too. Uh, but it, it was a, a lot of Steelers on there, a lot of Steelers legends on there, a lot of Steel, a whole lot of Steelers fans on there. They like and they represented like crazy. You know, Steelers fans, man. us as Ravens fans, we may not see eye to eye. But one thing you got to respect about Steelers fans, they represent like crazy. Um, so, but yeah, it, it was a good time, man. It, it, it was a fun time. But I, I meant to share that with y'all because that was something that was a little interesting that happened to me a couple of weeks ago. Um, but anyway, uh, I, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Uh, I know this video kind of went a bit sideways, but I appreciate y'all that uh, took the time to sit back and listen. Uh, I always appreciate you all's time because your time is something that's extremely valuable. Uh, and it's something that you 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 cannot get back. Um, so I never want to make you feel like you wasted time. Uh, I never want to make you feel like, oh, man, I, I can't get that 10 minutes back that I just wasted watching that guy's video. No, oh, man, I, I never want to make you feel like that. And if I ever have my apologies uh, and if I ever do in the future, I hope I don't. But if I do in the future, my apologies. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, turn your notifications on. Leave a like on the video. Uh, and I just appreciate y'all support. And like I said, I always appreciate you all's time. Thank you.